So, you want to learn how to port models into SFM and Blender? Then you've come to the right place. Now this tutorial is meant to be quick and easy, not complete. I'll link a more complicated tutorial at the end of the video. First, let's start with the softwares you need. SFM, duh. Blender, duh. Blender source tools and crowbar. Links in the description. Open Blender, go to edit, preferences and click on install. Look at the Blender source tools zip file you just downloaded and install the add-on. Look it up in the search bar and check the check mark. Boom, it's ready. Next, install crowbar. Go to decompile. Find the model you want to port. I'll choose Helga from the hit game Counter-Strike. Online 2, rest in peace. Choose a folder in which it's gonna decompile. Decompile. Now you're done with the crowbar. Yeet it out. Next, go to Blender. Get rid of this trash. Go to the file import and select source engine. Select the SMD files you want. Hit import. Boom, she's here. Now, do your thing. Once you're done, click on scene properties. Click on source engine export. Select the MX file format. Choose the export path. Export. Boom, done. Go to the export folder. Oh dear god, I almost shat myself. Create a TXT file, except psych, it's not TXT. Change the file format to QC. Name it and open it. Now, we get to the high precision part. If you misspell or do anything slightly wrong here, nothing will work. But, don't worry, I'll take your hand. And throw you off the cliff. First, dollar sign model name. This is going to be the address for the model. Make sure you repair your model name twice. Dollar sign model. Give it a name and then tell the code which name to look for. In the same folder. Copy and paste the model name with the file format. Dollar sign sequence. Your model has to have at least one, so give it idle and then the same model name as the model. Dollar sign CD materials. This is where you tell your software where your textures are gonna be. And you have to manually create it yourself. Next one on the list is dollar sign body group. This is optional if you have extra crap. Give it a name, like so, and then put studio for each item and a blank option. And finally, put in maxworks. 65530. Why? Because it's the max value SFM can take. Save the file and you're done with it. Back to the blender. Choose an engine path. It's an SFM game folder. Bin. And under the source engine QC compiles a game path. It's the user mod folder. Choose a QC that we just worked on and ta-da! It's done! Now we can finally work on the wrong! It still needs its textures. Copy your textures, create your folder and paste them there in the right directory. Done. And... Our project is a success! Let me toggle this. Now we have a new Helga. One with even bigger bunk Hanaga hooks! Humongous Hungalonga no no logongas! Like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video! Goodbye!